Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my plug or stretcher gauges, whichever you like to call it, collection video. Just a quick disclaimer, if you are not a fan of stretched ears and you are against body modifications of this kind, I recommend you go and find a different video in this wonderful internet of the world to watch because this is definitely not the one for you. And without further ado, let's get into that video. So I'm going to start off by talking about the ones I have in now. Currently my ears are stretched to a 12mm size. Um, I've had these at this size now for say about 2-3 months. I could probably stretch up again but at the moment I've got quite a lot of jewellery for this size so I'm happy where I am. With my collection I'm going to start from the smallest and then go up to the ones that I haven't yet sized up to. I did buy a kit off of eBay when I first started stretching my ears. It was from a certified piercing seller. It was just the bog standard steel tunnels and tapers just to begin my stretching process. That went from I think an 18mm which is a normal piercing sized hole just for like a normal stud um, and it went up to a double zero which is a 10mm and then after that I kind of started stretching them by my own methods depending on your personal opinion I just did the sort of taper in put the next size in and then once I got up to a 12 I've been using expanders to stretch my ears not everyone agrees with this method but it's the one that's worked for me so I won't show you the massive pack that I got off eBay because they are just stainless steel tunnels and tapers but I will show you the smaller sizes that were a lot more prettier so the first one I started off with this is an 8 mil it is a little tunnel you probably won't be able to see it but I'll do a close-up um, they're just a little black tunnel they are a screw back and they just have a iridescent blue sort of gel covering around the outside of the tunnel um they are probably one of my favorites my next ones that i purchased were <laughs> these rastafarian style tapers i know that tapers are really bad for your ears if you keep them in long term because it leaves an uneven distribution of weight on either side of your ear so your ear does not heal evenly um at 15 didn't listen to this um so i did actually end up with a blowout the first time i stretched my ears but i keep these just for sort of memory's sake because at 15 i thought i was a cool kid so the next ones i got i got sort of a multi-pack from my local piercing shop they're just random they're not a matching set i have a uh, silicone rubbery stretchy one i didn't really wear these a lot purely because they were quite a hard silicone and they were quite uncomfortable in my ears and also the flare was far too big for my ear so i only wore those if it was a dire emergency the next one i got these are a set actually i lied these are also screw backs these are still in an eight mil and they have sugar skulls on them they are plugs not tunnels um, because obviously they're solid but yeah they were my favorites if not the blue ones at the same time and i just thought they looked cool the other two that i got sort of as a it was like a buy two get one free or something at my piercing shop so i just got two random ones i've got the classic stretcher that i think everyone at that age had which is the menu fast forward reverse and play button plug this is also a screw back but this one's internally threaded rather than externally threaded and the same as this one again internally threaded plug and it's sort of a cosmic makes your eyes go funny kind of print i don't really know what else to say about that one never really wore it because i liked the matching sets but they were just there as backups if i ever lost one and then finally for my eight mils i have i don't really know what you'd call these i think they're made out of glass or maybe stone they're quite heavy in comparison to my acrylic ones but they're a really dark blue almost black flared plug they've got a few little white and silver sparkles in them and I use these to basically weight down my ears if I wanted to sort of stretch a little bit quicker but didn't want to fully stretch them. I'd wear these ones because they were heavy enough to stretch the elasticity in my ears. And that is it for my eight mils. 
So next we are gonna move on to my 10 mils. I'm gonna start off with the tapers again. Still shouldn't have them. Didn't really use them that often, but I'll show you anyway. I first had this sort of brown and golden black galaxy print. I only really used these in assisting my ears to stretch. Never really wore them other than that, so they're still pretty new to be honest. And then my favorite ones that I did wear for longer than the stretching period, which is quite naughty, are these ones. They're a black background with white and pink roses with a few leaves. The reason I thought they'd be okay to wear more long term is because in comparison to this one, which is quite a sort of short distance when it becomes like the 10 mil size, this one is actually quite long. It's almost the half the taper, which is the 10 mil size. So I thought I could get away with it like, so moving on to my only spiral tunnels, piercings that you have. I have these hand painted wooden spiral stretchers. I only wore these on special occasions when my ears were that size. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, not a lot to say about them really. They're just a beautiful piece of ear jewelry to wear. If you don't particularly want to scream about having stretched ears, they're a nice little distraction and then because I love that design so much I also got the tunnels or plugs in the wooden hand painted design as well these are super comfy but they are really light so they didn't do anything for the stretching process at all for me personally and that is all of my pretty 10 mils done so I'm gonna start off with the ones I will usually wear to work or around family members that aren't too keen on my stretches and they are my hider plugs. They are literally just half squidgy, half kind of hard in the middle plugs. They are flesh colored. They are not exactly the same color as the flesh on my ears, but they are the nearest ones I can get that in all fairness, nobody notices them when I've got these in. So they are for those who don't like stretched ears and I have to go in socialize with them. The next ones again there's no point in me getting out of the packet because you will not be able to see them and they are very well used. I just got a packet of really squidgy silicone tunnels. They are completely clear so when I've got them in my ears it literally looks like I've just got a gaping hole in my ear but it keeps them in the circular position so my ears don't look saggy because that is my pet peeve. It's people walking around with naked lobes and look and look just like looking like a bum hole. So again, I've got another one of those squidgy silicone ones, but I got them in black again. They just look like round holes in my ears, um, but with a black outline, nothing too special about them. I also did get just a multi-pack of different colored silicone plugs. Um, there's a few in there that I don't particularly like. I have a football one in there, but it was kind of like a random selection. So most of them are okay. Never really wear the football one, but they're just, comfy squidgy silicone plugs just to keep in the ears when I feel like it. I did the same, they basically had this massive sale on on my piercing website that I go to for my plugs um, and so I bought some acrylic multi-packs as well, it was again a random selection um, so I've just got some, some of them are screwed, some of them are double flares, some of them are single flares, it's just sort of a mishmash of acrylic tunnels in those ones and then on to my more pretty ones I've got these two flower tunnels they are technically tunnels because the back of them are single flared tunnels um, it just so happens that the plastic flower on the front covers the hole um, I only really wear these on special occasions again like I said these are more if I was going to go to a wedding or a christening and they just look like big fashion earrings um, so no one really needs to know that I have stretched ears, so they're a good cover up. My favorite at the moment, other than the ones that are in my ears currently, are these stone ones. They are plugs. I cannot for the life of me remember what stone this is made out of, but they are a turquoise marbly stone effect with a carved out rose on the front. And they're definitely one of my favorites because they look pretty. One of my newer purchases are again plugs. These are however glass so you can still see through them. They are a double flare plug again and they are completely see through but you've got sort of a flower pressed into the glass. Um, I just think they're really girly and really pretty. 
definitely one of my favourites again, but I haven't got a chance to wear them yet because I've just bought them, so should get around to wearing those. Finally, for my 12mm collection are these ones. These are, again, single flared tunnels. They're made out of acrylic with pink rhinestones in them. Um, these were actually my first 12mm tunnels when I first stretched my ears. These are the famous tunnels that gave my ear a blowout. Um, so I keep them in this packaging just to keep them sanitised because they were pretty gammy when the blowout happened, but it's a good bit of memories to keep hold of. But they are really pretty. I probably will sanitise them at some point so I can wear them again because they are really pretty. But yeah, those are the famous, the famous ones. And that is all I've got for my 12mm collection and we'll move on to the 14. This is the collection that I can not yet put in my ears as I'm not that size yet, but I've bought some in advance because I'm a piercing hoarder. So I'm gonna start off with the boring ones first. Um, I've just got the same as I did in my 12 mil. They are just clear double flared tunnels, but these are in acrylic rather than the silicone material, purely because once I get to that size, I don't think I'm gonna upsize any more. So I'd like stronger tunnels to keep the ear in place and keep it shape. Um, again, exact same plugs, plugs, tunnels, but in the black. Again, they're in acrylics, so they'll keep the ear shape nice and circular. And then I've got some white plugs. These are made out of silicone, but they're the sort of like thick, sort of hard silicone. They're just sort of, again, spacers just to keep the ears in place. And the same as the ones in the 12, can you see a pattern? I've got my hider plugs, but in a 14, which means that I can still sort of cover the fact that I have stretched ears when I need to, if I upsize, so. I've got the skin coloured or flesh coloured ones in a 14 as well. Going back to the acrylic tunnels again, I also bought them in pink. One of my favourite colours is pink, so I thought as they had a sale on when I purchased these, I'd get the pink ones as well. So I've got sort of a range of colours that I can work with. And then moving on to some ones that I'm not a great fan of. Um, previous with my 12s, they had sort of like a bundle collection that you could buy for about two, three pound. Um, Again, randomly selected, so I didn't really get a choice in what I bought. But these are silicone tunnels and plugs. I think the only ones that I will end up wearing are sort of the ones with inserts. So I have a white and blue tunnel made out of silicone, and they have a little heart cut out through the center. I have a clear silicone one again, and it's got sort of this spiral detailing in the center as well. And then the one that really intrigued me, and I'm quite upset that I didn't get two of them in the pack, are these ones, which are actually square shaped tunnels. Again, they're squidgy, they're made out of silicone. I just thought they were super cool. I've never really tried to stretch my ears or condition them to sit in a different way other than circular. So I might repurchase more than just one because I think that'd be pretty funky. And then the ones that I definitely won't be wearing are these bad boys. I don't understand who invented these or what the purposes of them are. They're, they're not very, just drop one. They're not very squidgy. I don't understand how you're supposed to like bend the spikes down enough to sort of get them in your ear in the first place. They are made out of silicon, but they don't bend very well. And I just think, Sure, if you've got larger sized ears maybe, or you've got less crowding with other piercings on your ears, then they'd, they'd look great. But for me, they just, they're, they're not doing it for me, sorry. And then finally, I got two black ones and a red one of these ones. They are again, silicone tunnels that are double flared. Again, they're made out of that same really hard silicone, so they don't really bend a lot. Um, and they're very 90s, they've got the sort of the softer silicone spikes coming off the front and the sides. I don't feel like these are gonna be very comfy to wear, so they are again probably not gonna get worn by me, unless I wear them for Halloween, which is probably the only time I'll wear them. But yeah, that's what I got in the multi-random selection pack. And then moving on to the only two pretty ones I have for my 14s, um, I have the glass ones with the little blue flowers in them again. 
I loved them so much in a 12 that I couldn't bear to part with them once I upsized to a 14, so I got them in both sizes. Um, it's annoyed me slightly that in the 12, the flower covers the entire front of the tunnel, and then with this one, the flowers have stayed the same size, um, and it's just extra glass, so I was kind of hoping the flower would be bigger, but hey, they're still pretty. And then finally, my last pair, which were my first pair of 14s that I ordered. These are single flares with an O-ring on the back and they are made out of glass again. And they are the exact same ones that I've got in my ears now, but the size up, but in a really dark, sparkly navy blue. These are my go-to. I love single flared if they are made out of glass or stone or wood. Single flared with an o-ring on the back is the comfiest piercing that I've had in my ears. Um, so yeah, the gold ones in my ears currently are the exact same as these ones. And again, couldn't bear to part with ones like this. They are just so comfy. They're pretty, but not too in your face and scream, I have stretched ears. Um, and I can get away with wearing these to work as well. So thought I'd get one in the next size up when I'm there. So that is the end of my 14 millimeter collection and then finally just because i seem to lose o-rings as much as i lose bobby pins for my hair um, i did purchase just sort of a multi-pack of black o-rings just for the single flared plugs that i have um, just because like i said i feel like i lose one at least every other day so this was a pack of 60 once upon a time but i think i've now only got about 10 maybe 12 um, so I'm probably going to have to repurchase these, but they are a lifesaver. And then if any of you are interested in what I use to stretch my ears, um, I will do a separate video on my stretching ear and piercing, like overall piercing aftercare um, and daily care. But for future reference, I use the Gage Gear 100% natural stretching balm, um, all natural ingredients. Um, it has got beeswax, unfortunately, so anyone that is vegan, you probably have to find a different stretching balm, but it just looks like this. It's a little pot, but I've had it for years and I've still got well over half of it left. Um, yeah, it's a lifesaver. It's made my stretching ear journey so much easier and I definitely recommend it as long as you're not vegan. So guys, thank you again for watching. If you'd like to see more of me, please hit that subscribe button down below. And then if you'd like to see more of my piercing and tattoo aftercare and just general videos about my piercings and tattoos, then please leave a comment or like down below as well. Um, and yeah, I will see you shortly.